No Life Jeff, that is my name. What is up, guys? And today I am going to be ranking every single Dream League soccer update from best to worst. So, as you guys know, that most Dream League soccer updates were probably disappointing, a lot of them. Um, so it was hard to pick the best one out of bad ones. But you know what? <laughs> you know what? It's weird. Anyway, I was looking through it. I think there was a total of eight updates. There might have been more. I might have missed one. Sorry about that if I've missed one. But I'm going to be ranking them from eighth best to the first best. But before we get into any of the ranking, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications. All right. Put on notifications always so you're always notified whenever I put out a video. And leave a like on the video as well because that'll be, that'll be great support. And leave a comment. What do you guys think? Oh, who is the best update after you finish watching the video? Anyway, let's go. So ranking 8th on one of the worst updates is definitely going to be the update 6.1. This was the most recent update where they just added the highlights, and that's about it. Obviously, they updated the team data and everything that's expected with every single update. This spring update was really a disappointment. This was definitely the worst update. All they added was highlights. That that was that was literally it. I don't. Th I think I've looked at it once when I was reviewing the update, and never again. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on telling you why this is the worst. I think it's self-explanatory. So ranking number seven as the second worst update is going to be the one with the international icons when they um, when they had the World Cup. This was last summer's update where they just added a bunch of special delete developed players but in sort of a team sort of a team of the week that was about it this really didn't add anything new to the game since they already had specially developed players previously but this one just organized them all into a player of the the week or uh, team of the week and that's really about it so a lot of these updates have a new part of the transfer or you know update the game change the games a little bit but this one really didn't. It just organized a bunch of the previous uh, specially developed players that they had in other updates and just put them in a group. That's literally all they did. So it comes in at number seven. So coming in at number six, this one was a really hard one to choose from because they're all basically at equal level. Well, most of them left are basically at equal level. But coming in at number six is going to be last spring's update. So last spring's update introduced scouting. So you would scout players, you would pay a certain amount of money, and they would they would add players to the transfers. So this is stepping up from number seven since it does actually change the game. It will add more transfers. So if you're looking for a certain player, you can you know scout and get more players. So it does change the game a bit. So it this it it ranks higher. It still ranks number six, however, because I've never ever used scouting. And scouting players are super expensive, so there's not a lot of incentive to use it. So that's it. But what made this really hard to decide between uh, the others is that this is when Aubameyang was was entered into the game since he transferred to Arsenal. But that was just because First Touch Games finally got the licensing to him because they have licensing to the Premier League. So it's not technically an update feature, so I'm, I'm just going to leave it at number six. Ranking number five is Dream League Soccer 2017 update. The reason why I put this over Aubameyang and scouting is because it just brought hope to the game. I, I was there thinking that it was going to stay Dream League Soccer forever and they're just going to let the game die and just, and just not have an update or not have an upgrade every year. But they just go ahead of March of 2017, go ahead and bring out Dream League Soccer 2017. Most of the update was just a UI, but um, they also added creating logos, which I think is okay because I feel like I use creating logos more than scouting. You create a logo when you make a team, so everyone uses that create a logo feature, but not a lot of people are using scouting. So uh, that's why this one ranks higher because of all the UI changes, for because of the hope, and because the create logos, I think, is a lot more useful than scouting. Coming in at number four is going to be the second ever update, the fall update from the from Dream League Soccer 2016. This was when uh, Dream League Soccer 2016 
switched to Dream League Soccer, that's it. Which sort of lost my hope, but then Dream League Soccer 2017 came out and everything, it was fine. This update brought breakthrough player development, which, you know, it's not that great, right? But they did add silver cards, gold cards, and, and black cards when you get 100 rated. The silver and the gold cards just give you, like, sort of checkpoints um, to see, like, where you're going, where you're headed into the player development. And it was great. You know, you, you the, the game looked nicer. Also, this is where they added the specially developed players. So you could buy more higher rated players in the transfer market, which was pretty useful. I actually bought a lot of them because um, the, the highest rated you could get was either Messi or Ronaldo, whichever one was higher at the time. Uh, but you can never get higher, and you'd always have to player develop yourself. But when you could buy them in the in the store, like already specially developed, uh, I'm pretty sure it was cheaper as well. So it really helped out the game, which makes it rank higher than all the rest, than the ones I've mentioned. The silver, the gold, and the black cards just make the game look nicer. Um, the specially developed players were actually useful. Uh, so you know what? That, that's why it ranks at number four. Ranking number three. This one is where I decided that it was better than number 5 and number 4. These ones could all be like equal, to be honest. Maybe even number 6 could be equal with this one. But I just chose for this one to be number 3, just because it was the first ever update. The hope from Dream League Soccer 2017 was nothing compared to this hope, because this is what showed us that First Touch Games cared about this game. This was the first ever update that they added, and you know, it just showed that there was like there was a beginning, and then there was gonna continue for updates, and we're gonna keep this game going and fresh and new for everyone. Also, this update um, had a skill shot feature, which is a gameplay feature which none of the other updates had. So this added something to gameplay, which changed the game a lot more than all the others. So that's why this is ranking number three because there's a gameplay feature. Also, there's a secret player, there was a transfer feature. This was just an overall good update, just because it was the first one, there was hope, and then the skill shot was actually a good feature as well as the, um, the, the secret players, because you can get players for cheaper, it gives you sort of a sense of like mystery that people wanted. I mean, I don't really use secret players that much, but you know, it, it, it brought up some challenges in videos and Honestly, I think the gameplay uh, feature really just makes it uh, above the rest of uh, 4, 5, and 6. So it ranks number 3. It's still not the best, though. Still not the best, in my opinion. So moving in to the second best Dream League Soccer update was Dream League Soccer 2018. This is where they added Create a Player. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. What, like, why, why is Create a Player so important to you? Why is that just single-handedly making it number two? Well, this is why. Ever since the game came out, everybody's been wanting the Bundesliga Leagues and Legends. But First Touch Games can't physically put that into the game because they don't have licensing. So this Create a Player made a lot of the community be able to purchase and have these Bundesliga or Legends on their team. Or even just themselves. I... Uh, purchased Marco Royce because he's not in the game. I made Marco Royce in the game. Uh, I also uh, created Pele as well. So all the all the players that you can't have in the game, you can now make them. Obviously, there was a cap of two, which I don't know if you agree, if I if I agree with that or not. But you know you can't you can't have the whole Bundesliga league. But still, this is what made it better because you could have players from the leagues if you just had to create them. That's what made it better than the rest that I've mentioned before. That's it. There's no gameplay feature, no nothing, but it was just a creative player option, which was just so huge, and I think that deserve so it deserves number two. So, I don't know if you guys have guessed it, but this is a pretty big update. You guys would probably know because it hasn't been mentioned in this video yet. This is the number one update, the best update Dream League Soccer has to offer. It is Dream League Soccer 2019. In my opinion, Dream League Soccer 2019 takes the cake on the best update that they've had. Ever since the first update came out, I've been asking for a new game mode to be featured in this thing. Because I was tired of playing online 
and, and, play, and I've already completed the Elite Division countless times. So I was begging the, the First Touch Games to add a new uh, game mode, and they finally did. They added a new game mode called Events. Now, I know I'm not a fan of Events, but I'm just saying that I like this update so much because they added the new thing to the game. This is the most new that things that they've added to the game ever. I know you guys know that I'm not a very big fan of events and I haven't played them in a while, but it's just the biggest change, the biggest improvement to a game was definitely this one by adding events. Adding events was the best thing that happened to Dream League Soccer just because there's new, there's something new you can play and, and it's re refreshing too as well and there's a new thing you can play every time and, there, and, 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 and the new updates are adding new types of events too so it's constantly refreshing and updating it's just it's just the best update by far when I wrote all these updates down to list them I immediately knew that this Dream League Soccer 2019 was gonna take the cake at number one and th th that's just why I know a lot of people might disagree that this that, that, that this is number one but you know what this is just this is number one for me so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you, you would have ranked it differently, let me know in the comments down below. Um, so yeah, maybe this, maybe the Dream League Soccer 2019 wasn't your favorite update. Maybe there's other things. Maybe you use scouting more, so you would rank it higher or something like that. Let me know in the comments. Leave a like if you did enjoy today's video. And subscribe if you are new for some more content like this. Ring the notification bell when you do so as well, so you're notified for every single time I upload. But uh, anyway... I will see you guys in the next video.